All right, Tim, our other top story tonight. Police say a robbery victim shot and killed the man who was trying to rob him. It happened just before one this morning near the lodge and outer drive. Sean Lay walks us through what happened and why police believe it was self-defense. Well, good afternoon. This happened right here on the corner of LaShore and Thatcher on Detroit's west side. A couple of guys approached men in a car. One of those guys had a gun and pistol whipped a guy in the car. Well, someone else in the car had a concealed pistol license and he opened fire. My window got shot out during the uh, madness last night. He is a father of two young children, a boy and a girl. He's sweeping up glass after bullets flew on his corner early this morning. Some of those shots hitting his SUV. My daughter sit right here. This is where her car seat would be at. She had to take it out so I can remove the glass. Uh, this is where my baby sit at, right here. So if this was a different time of day... This could have been my daughter. It happened just before 1 this morning. Police say some men were sitting in a car here when two other men snuck up on them and tried to rob them. A man in the car is a valid concealed pistol holder with a gun in his face. He pulled his own gun and used deadly force, shooting one of the robbers to death. The second suspect ran off. Just senseless, man. Just senseless. Uh, just go out and get a job. Find you a hustle. It's no point in trying to rob guys. This is this type of stuff that happened. That and you don't know who's prepared. Who's you don't know who prepared. Like that was idiotic to even try to attempt to run up on a car with four guys in it. You got to know one of them guys at least got a gun. If it ain't legal, it's illegal. They got well, somebody got to have a firearm on them. Day and age we living in. We are live tonight with new information about this. Zorza is just getting off the phone with me saying the robber himself looked like he had a real pistol. It was an airsoft pistol, not a real gun, but he brandished it, stuck it in the faces of the guys in the car, even hit one, uh, one of the guys with that airsoft pistol. The guys certainly thought it was real. They had a real gun. They fired and killed him. Uh, police tonight calling it a case of self-defense. As procedure, Kimberly and Devin, they will send it to the prosecutor's office for review. Back to you. Now, uh, Sean, I understand you spoke to family members of one of the people who were in that car when the robbers came up. What did they have to say? completely shaken up, saying the scene was so intense. And then when the smoke cleared, they knew the guy on the ground was only 22 years old. And they said it appeared, of course, he had a whole life in front of him. They wished he had made different choices at that moment. Just awful. Okay, Sean.